So we got the got the wires in here. Now we're just stripping them back. So you go around it there. You guys should check out my uh, one of the older videos that actually had the uh, where we we put the service the uh, the service from the power company in. I showed the same same thing. That's pretty much how you do it. You just cut around the edge, and then put a slit down the middle, and then you use your pliers to pry that uh, insulation off. And we're going to go ahead and use some Noah locks here. And uh, Because anytime you work with aluminum, you need to use NOAA locks, and this is just to prevent oxidization of the aluminum. So get you a good coating all the way around it. goes into the center one right here and the center is for the neutral that we have so we got the uh, Klein Allen wrench is here. I'm going to use to tighten this up. And I like to go until I see the wire starting to spread apart. Uh, that means you've really driven it home. All right. So we'll work on getting these other work on getting these other ones in here. I've already got them kind of cut to length. So all we need to do is strip them back and put them into place. I'm just using my thumbnail as a guide. I want to strip it about that far back however far that is I'll just lay it in there and then take a look that looks all the way around and then I shorten up my knife blade and burn it right up the middle there if you don't think you got deep enough Go again. Pops off just like that. All right, well, as you can see, we went ahead and got our feeders hooked up to the to the trailer, got our ground tied into the ground up there, and uh, then we've got the neutral, ran to the neutral up there, and uh, the, the hot wire is coming out of the bottom. See, uh, if you watch the original, uh, getting the power set up at the, the farm, we'll put a link somewhere up here. And um, that's why we chose this panel is because it had these feed through lugs because when this is off, this is off. Uh, so you can disconnect the trailer and have a breaker box outside so it's not just a disconnect. Some, some places, some people use just the disconnect 
and uh, don't have a breaker box outside. Well, I wanted to have a breaker box outside, so it really makes things nicer. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm glad we get the power hooked up here. We've got to get it inspected and everything before we turn it on. But uh, the net, that's about it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.